Hello. I never go live because I'm scared of going live, but I decided to be a little bit brave today and do it on my podcast or my smaller account instead of my big account um, to get a little practice in because I think I need to be better at it. But today I want to talk with you guys for just a second about Beth Moore. I'm sure most people watching are familiar with Beth Moore. She is sort of a legendary Bible teacher and she has been very outspoken in the past couple of years um, about political issues or just issues that she cares about that, you know, haven't always been in line with sort of maybe a mainstream <clears throat> evangelical perspective. So she's ruffled some feathers, but I, for the most part, have um, really enjoyed some of, you know, what she shared on Twitter as someone who is an avid Twitter user. Um, you know, that's something that's been fun sort of to watch her play that game. But, you know, this past week she announced that she is leaving um, the SBC, Southern Baptist Convention. Um, she's a Southern, she was a Southern Baptist and she's decided that um, she no longer aligns with all the things that they believe in there. Um, and it, it caused a huge uproar. I mean, people that don't go to church or, or not in faith may not understand why it's such a big deal for someone to leave um, to leave their denomination. It's like, so what, who cares? But it is a big deal because she um, is such a representative of that denomination and that sector. Um, so it's a big decision for her to leave. And she said that she is not leaving, uh, she's still a Baptist, but she's not a Southern Baptist. And, and to tell you the truth, I don't know the difference. Like I grew up in a non-denominational church. Like I'm not a denominational person. I, I currently go to a Wesleyan church, which I really enjoy. Um, so I guess for now I'm Wesleyan, but honestly, I don't know the particulars of denominations, but the reason that this really stood out to me and just for, you know, as soon as I heard what was happening, I was sort of thankful because not because I disagree with Southern Baptists. I, again, I, I mean, I, I know some Southern Baptists and they're great and I'm not putting anyone down, but it's a perfect example of someone who said, this isn't working for me anymore. I'm going to go somewhere else. And I think too many people grew up a certain way. They went to a certain church, their faith dictated certain rules and it either hurt them. It turned them off. It made them disassociated and maybe they have bad memories or they just have, you know, not great thoughts about the, the faith that they grew up in or, or things have changed. And change is scary and it's a big deal to go somewhere new and to be the first, you know, to be new, the new guy. Um, it's a big deal to sort of go somewhere where the traditions are different. It's a big deal to maybe leave a community that you've always known or to just try something different. But I, I love her example because I believe that that is the answer for so many people. We see people leaving church like crazy. Um, we see people deconstructing their faith. And I don't always necessarily think that's a bad thing. I think deconstructing your faith can lead to a stronger faith. And I've heard of people that that's happened to. Um, and I also think that if you need a break from church for a little bit, that's okay. Like you can take that time away to like talk with God about what you're doing. Um, but what I want people to take from Beth Moore is that it's okay to leave somewhere that you're not comfortable in. If you are somewhere that feels toxic, don't continue to go there week after week. Um, you know, we live in America where there are churches everywhere. Um, and not every church, you know, is going to be great, unfortunately. And there are some denominations that aren't great. Um, but there are churches that are good out there. Um, and there is a place for you um, if you will continue looking for it. So, so I guess I just wanted to come on here and say, look to Beth Moore for... Um, an example of someone that did something really hard. I mean, she knew this was going to cause like a firestorm of news. She knew this was going to be controversial. I'm sure it's something she's been dealing with for a long time. Um, but if you grew up Catholic or you grew up, um, I don't know, in a mega church and you're like the mega church, it feels fake or it doesn't do it for me. Or, you know, you're like Catholicism, like the rituals and all that. That's, not, you know, I, everybody's different. Like I have met in the course of, of my writing this year, I have met actually like three or four people that that have converted to Catholicism, which is, to me, that was really surprising because, uh, you know, to me, I don't, 
I don't really jive with with sort of like the really formal religious stuff. Um, but to them, they found that ritual and that meaning so meaningful to them. Um, and one person in particular, she had come from growing up in this huge mega church, and um, and to her that that Catholic service and that relationship with God that way that was so much better for her. And so um, I thought that was really cool that I've met several people that went that direction, especially because when we're talking about people leaving the church, um, Catholics actually are one of the highest. Um, rated groups that are leaving. Um, you know, a lot of that is related to some of the scandals that have happened. I certainly don't think that reflects on all Catholics by any means. Um, but unfortunately, I think, you know, in that instance, um, with people leaving the Catholic Church or with people feeling like, um, you know, maybe they were um, disillusioned by the past four or five years of politics, uh, you know, this 80% block of people that have, you know, voted for Donald Trump, which I am not at all. Um, you know, against somebody that, you know, is in that voting block, but there are some people that were uncomfortable with that. And there, I have heard from people that have left their churches because they feel so disassociated from some of their fellow congregants, which, um, you know, I think, you know, Hey, we are the body of Christ. Like we, you know, if we are Christians, our fellow brothers and sisters are our family and we do not really get to choose our family. Um, however, we do get to choose our church and we do get to choose the family members that we hang around with. So um, there is no church or denomination that's gonna be um, you know, perfect, of course, where you're not gonna find a place that you won't be at some point hurt, that you won't be at some point maybe in disagreement with something that's said or offended by someone that goes to the church. Um, that's gonna happen, like we are fallible, um, but you know, Jesus loved the church. Um, he talked about it all the time. Um, you know, the world started with the church, um, with communion, with, with the Trinity and, um, with, with God, uh, with Adam and Eve being together with God. And so, um, God doesn't want us to be alone and he doesn't want us to, um, try to have relationship with him without relationship with others. Like he has designed it so that we have relationship with others and that our relationship with him thrives within that. So um, I'm really passionate about this. I don't want people to give up on the church. I don't want people to give up because they've been through something. I mean, look what Beth Moore has been through, the criticism she's taken, like the um, I mean, I can't imagine some of the things that have been said to her by Christians who don't agree with the way that she goes about things. Um, it's no surprise that she's left. That's okay. She says, I'm still a Jesus follower. I'm still somebody that uh, loves the church. Um, I'm still going to keep you know, going in the way that God has uh, planned out for me. And that can be the same for you. Um, so I, I would just encourage you, follow her example search out a place that works for you where you can live out your purpose in the body of Christ because what I'm what I want to say is that we all have a place in that body like as Christians that body does not function as well unless you are there um and you know if if you're discouraged by the church if you're discouraged by your denomination how much more do we need your voice like how much more do we need you there to make the positive changes that need to be there. Um, all right, guys. So that's, I guess that's it. That's my first like Instagram live. Um, so thank you for watching and maybe I will do it again soon. Let me know what you thought if you have any comments. Thanks a lot. Bye.